Corey Pinkerton with Ask an Expert. And today you're getting a sneak peek on a true live coaching session with Rebecca. At 41 years old, Rebecca has been single her entire life, but more importantly, has not dated in 17 years. She's just starting to date again, and today I give her the real tips on how to be successful right out of the gate. I want to thank you for um, being here today. I know that what we're going to talk about sometimes can be really difficult, but the value is is helping everybody to see how much alike we are, and we have very similar common struggles as women when we're out dating. So I was wondering if you might be able to just kind of quickly share with me, um, you're 41, yes. yes, you've been single, ever married? No never been married. What's astonishing about Rebecca is the fact that you didn't date for 17 years. Correct. Right? Mm -hmm. um, and you've just recently got back into dating in the last year. Mm -hmm. And so for 17 years you didn't date because... Well, I, I thought it was more important to focus on my daughter and make sure that I provided for her and um, was there for her if she needed me. Mm -hmm. So so I just focused on her. Now that you're out there, do you have a clear idea of what you're looking for in a, in a man? Are you just looking to date, get married, what, what's happening for you? Well, um, I'm looking to uh, find somebody who will accept me and love me for me, for who I am. Uh, and yes, I am looking to get married by the time I'm 45. So mm. I've got a four year plan. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. Well, I'm glad that you have a goal in mind because sometimes we get out there and we just kind of get all over the place and uh, we take whatever comes to us. And sometimes that's not what we really want in the end. So tell me, what, what are you, you say that you want someone to accept you for who you are. Tell me a little bit, what does that mean exactly? Um, well, um, I, I'm overweight and I, you know, single mom, uh, just want to, you know, uh, have somebody that will just love and accept all of my unique value and qualities uh, that I, you know, can bring to a relationship. Uh, and then, you know, I can be accepting of them as well. Mm -hmm. And have you thought about who it is you want? I mean, is it, is, is, you probably thought, well, I want her to be such and such height or, or size or whatever, right? But have you really mm -hmm. thought about the kind of character that you're looking for in a partner? Um, I don't know. <laughs> no, <laughs> not so much. Yeah, <laughs> I think that that's pretty typical. We just get out there and whatever we find, we find, mm -hmm. right? I really encourage women to be more specific than that, and it's really a two-part system. And getting started effectively means knowing what is what, what's unique about you. You know, what I like about you is that you seem to accept who you are. You're you're, you're say this is me. This is what I have to offer. But I'm wondering if you really know what it would be that a man would be attracted to you for. What what would you want a man on the end of a date to take away and know about Rebecca? Well, I think I'm I'm you know smart, funny. Uh, I have a great personality, mm -hmm. and um, I'm just really loving and accepting of of people. Um, and I just want, um, you know, guys to mm -hmm. know that, um, you know, that I'm not judgmental and that I, I will accept them for who they are who also. They really are. Mm -hmm. Well, that's really cool because a lot of people don't, couldn't even put those words to you, who they are. So I want you to get it even clearer than that though. So this week's homework, I want you to, to write down the five top things when, when you meet somebody you want them to know and how are they going to know that about you? And the part B is really, who is it that you're looking for? I don't want you to be out there randomly just accepting whoever comes your way. And you may already have a little flavor for kind of the, the riffraff or the, the people are not even riffraff but looking for something different than you are. Mm -hmm. So I want you to have a clear idea about the characteristics that the, your ideal mate is going to have. And how would you know, what would he be doing to show you that in himself? Okay. Okay? Can yeah. you do that? Sounds good. Yeah. Okay, good. We're, gonna, we're off to a really great start. Great. In today's session, Rebecca discovered what is unique about her and how does she make every date a special one. But more importantly than that, she discovered how is she going to know when she meets Mr. Wright and what characteristics are important to her. Connect with me at yourtango.com slash experts slash dating and relationship experts.